Hi everyone, um, I'm going to give you guys a quick little lesson on how to hand sew straps. Um, we will hand sew these for you when we send a harness, but you might want to know how to do it um, in case you want to shorten straps yourself. Uh, this harness here, it's the very last thing we do before we ship a harness is we hand sew these straps. Um, just to give you guys a quick little lesson, in case you're shortening your strap and oh no it came unthreaded how do you put it back um, you want to make sure that the end with the adjuster or the, um, the leash loop whatever is the top side of your strap make sure it's facing up you just want to loop the end of the thread through one of the middle loops and then it helps a little bit if you make it a little loose in the middle of that adjuster. Give yourself some space. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to fold it back in on itself. You're going to take that strap around the loop and push it back to the inside of the adjuster. And then you're going to want to take that end again and then push it back through. So pretty much you're just kind of folding it up on itself. And then you'll get a three, you can pull that. So if you get a harness, we always recommend um, that if we're unable to determine what size your duck should wear, that you should pick the size up from the size that we think your duck might wear. Especially if you have a hybrid, um, a mixed breed, or if, um, or if we seem to be puzzled about the breed and we're not sure what size to do. Um, this often is a task um, Muscovy owners can find themselves doing um, just since there's a big range between Muscovy males and females and if you're ordering a head for a little duckling you might not get the gender right and um, I usually recommend it to just go ahead and get the bigger size because you can always shorten the straps yourself. So pretty much to shorten the straps all you need is just some simple thread a very just simple little hand needle and a pair of scissors. I recommend a little sharp pair. Before you start sewing, you want to just give the end a little trim. Makes it nice and straight then for sewing. Now I went ahead and I've already threaded this needle and you can use different color thread. I'm using white here so you guys can see it easily. But just regular um, all-purpose polyester thread works well. You'll need about four feet of thread to do all three straps. And then, just gonna show you guys, I made a little knot here in the end. Usually if you tie it up about two or three times on the end, you'll get a knot big enough. Now, this fabric is stretchy, so if you only tie a knot once, you can end up pulling the knot through the fabric because the fabric will kind of give a little bit to let that knot through. So I usually do it three times. So. One thing you gotta make sure you do is that you don't sew the strap up back onto a higher point on the strap. You wanna make sure you sew it back onto itself. So if it comes under the adjuster, you should be covering that middle part of the adjuster. Otherwise, you'll have to pull all your stitches out and start over. Now I'm pretty good at this so I'm gonna go pretty fast but for those of you who are maybe not so well versed in hand sewing it might go a little slower um, and that is perfectly fine so what I like to do is right above the adjuster on the back of the thread I like to push it in from right there and that's just so it hides the knot underneath after you put them together but you can go through the bottom if you like I usually use my thumb and then my first two fingers to hold that end of the fabric onto the strap itself. And then with the needle, it's just a simple overstitch. So you just want to come up from the bottom, make sure you go through all of the layers, and just pull through. And that'll happen sometimes the thread will get stuck on part of the harnesses you should always make sure that your stitch is pulled all the way through um, you don't want to end up pulling your th thread through and oh no you have this huge loop there because then you'll have to cut it and start all over again 
and you just kind of come up the side there until you get to that end of that strap. And you don't have to get all the way in the corner, but if you can, you certainly may. But I know that it may not be as easy for other people as it is for me. I've been doing this a long time, so I've gotten pretty good at it. Now, this can be a little bit trickier. We're going to have to sew the strap across onto itself. And there's no end of the, th of the strap to go around. So what you want to make sure you do is you want to push through the bottom strap and then come up through the top little end there. So it kind of pull itself up a little bit. When you're pushing through, you want to make sure you get through at least the top layer of the strap on the bottom. If you don't go all the way through it, that's okay. You want to make sure you at least get this little top layer of the fabric. But you want to make sure you do get both layers of the end. If you were to push through and say maybe only catch the, the end of that little piece of fabric, the pretty much it can come undone from the inside and you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you go all the way through this top piece. That's kind of what I said there happens sometimes. It can get a little caught up on itself. If you're uh, not really proficient at hand sewing, I would recommend that you use a shorter piece of thread. Um, just so that way it's a little easier to control. And it's okay if it comes out just a little bit crooked. It is a stretchy material, so getting those stitches perfect and straight across may not happen, and that's all right. And then now we're getting to the end here where we need to sew up the other side of the strap. So when you get all the way to the end, we're pretty much just going to go right back on itself what we did going in the opposite direction as before. Make sure you go through. This time you want to go through all the layers of the fabric. And then you're just going to let that loop around the side of your strap. You probably need about 20 stitches overall. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Just depends on how close you put them together. I pretty much recommend you go at least five to seven stitches per side and about ten stitches or so across the top. Once you have all three sides stitched down and onto itself, you want to make a nice good knot at the end. Now again, this fabric is stretchy and knots can pull through, so I like to make sure I tie the knots off at least three times. The trick to getting the knots as close to the bottom as possible is to pull the thread, or, sorry, pull the thread, and then I like to place my thumbnail on top of it and give it a, a nice pull. And it helps keep it towards the bottom. If you have a little bit of space between the strap and your knot, that's okay. You just want to give it a trim close to the edge, but not all the way up on the edge so the knot goes on. And there you go, and that's how you shorten or hand sew your own straps.